U.S. Agriculture Secretary Tom Vilsack has urged the EU to grant better market access to American farmers. Vilsack was in Brussels as part of a push by Washington to scrap existing trade barriers in the farming sector. It comes amid ongoing negotiations for a transatlantic free trade deal. Talks kicked off in July last year. But differences remain between the EU and the US on issues such as genetically modified crops and chemically treated meats. The way to deal with this is not necessarily to draw a line in the sand and to say this is in and this is out. It's basically to say we trust our consumers to make the right set of choices. Give them options, give them choices, they'll make the right choice. The market usually makes the right choice. The EU allows 50 of some 450 commercial GM strains to be imported into the bloc, but retailers are reluctant to stock such products due to customer resistance and health concerns. And green MEPs and environmentalists worry an agreement could open the door to a flurry of legal challenges if countries decide to reject GM foods. The part strengthening the rights of multinational firms in the agreement could give them the ability to take countries to court, which want to apply some precaution and refuse to cultivate GMOs. Negotiators hope to strike a free trade agreement at some point next year. It will then need to be approved by the European Parliament and the US Congress.